All right, so today um, we'll go over problems for 7.3b. 7.3b is apply and extend previous understandings of operations. So basically adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing any rational number. So it could be different types mixed together. Um, it could be fractions, decimals, whatnot. Um, so this question right here, um, it was on last year's star test. Uh, it's 35. So it says Marsha gave to pay for three pairs of socks. The cashier gave her five dollars and three cents in change. Each pair of socks costs the same amount. What is the cost in dollars and cents for each pair of socks? Okay. So I probably just circle my numbers that were important. I underline my question. Um, I'm also going to box this right here because that's important. Each pair costs the same amount. Okay. So first of all, I need to figure out how much she paid in all. So I said how much she paid in all. So that means I probably need to set the $20.00. Notice I put my decimal because when you subtract the line, the decimal's up. That's how much change she got. So if I subtract, I need to borrow. So that's seven, nine. Okay, so she got or she paid in all fourteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. So she paid an equal amount for each pair of socks. So that means I probably need to divide 1497 by the number of socks, pairs of socks she bought, which is three. So I'm gonna divide three, 1497. So going to one, but three, we're going to 14, four times. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to subtract. It gives me 2. I forgot to go, so I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to bring down the 9. 3 goes into 29. 9 times. That's 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract. Get 2. Bring down my 7 again. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27. I got a 0 as a remainder. No more numbers to bring down. So I know I'm finished. Now this is a gridable question. So that means I have to grid it correctly. You guys gridables has a positive and negative this year. So you got to make sure you put the positive and negative. So in order to get this, it would need to be gridded like this. Decimal and the two nines and I have to bubble and write the numbers so of course that is our answer last year on the test this is why I picked this one only 45 percent of the students got it correct um, so most students get some kind of numerical error or whatnot okay let's look at another This also was on last year's discussion number 17, and it is a 7.3b problem again. It says Maya has 120 caramel apples to sell. Each caramel apple is covered with one topping. So I'm going to do my cubes. One fifth of the caramel apples are colored, covered with peanuts. One third. Three tenths are covered with coconut. Are covered with sprinkles. Question is, how many caramel apples are covered covered with sprinkles? Okay, so we have three fractions, all different denominators. So either we need to change those to common denominators, or we need to decimals. It depends on what you like. Um, I'm a fraction person, so I'm going to do the fraction, and I think that's what we need the most practice with. So, um, a good common denominator for this would 
probably be 30. Okay. So I'm going to change my one fifth. Um, I need a, a fraction with the denominator of 30. 30. I multiply by 6. Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. 1 times 6 is 6. Okay. One third. I need the denominator to be 30. So to get from 3 to 30, I multiply by 10. If you do to the top, you do to the bottom. 1 times 10 is 10. And the last fraction is 3 tenths. I need the denominator to be 30. I'm going to multiply by 3, top and bottom. That's 9. Pretty lengthy problem, but let's keep going. So I got 6 tenths plus 6 thirtieths plus 10 thirtieths plus 9 thirtieths. So that's 25 thirtieths. Notice that's an answer choice, but that is not our answer. Okay, because it says she has 120 apples. Okay, so 25 out of 30 apples, caramel, chocolate chips, or coconut. We're looking for the ones that are covered with sprinkles. So I need to, the difference between 30 and 25 is the ones that have sprinkles. So you got to remember that as well. That's 5 out of 30. But I want to know how many out of 120, out of 120. So that means, you probably guessed it, I need a proportion. So if 5 out of 30 have sprinkles, how many out of 120? So you can cross multiply, divide, or like I'm dealing with fractions, you can see that if I multiply that by 4, I get 120. So 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, so that means... 20 of the caramel apples are covered with sprinkles. D. Okay. Correct. The reason why I picked this is because the percentage. This was one of the lowest percentage uh, teaks uh, questions for 7.3b. Only 42% got that right. So you see, a lot of people picked C. Okay, um, some people just guessed, I suppose, um, but you got to go through. All so these problems can be difficult, um, but things you need to remember for 7.3b. So remember, if you're adding or subtracting, uh, if you're adding fractions or subtracting fractions, you need a common denominator. Um, if you're adding or subtracting, line up the decimals. Um, important when we're doing multiplication is not written. Also, lining up decimals is not important when we do um, multiplication. You just count the decimal number of decimal places at the end. Division. When you divide fractions, you got to remember to use KCF. Keep change flip. Keep the first fraction the same. Change the signs of multiplication and then flip to change it to its reciprocal. And then then that we struggle with. You got to make sure you follow the integer rules. Okay? So some of you like using the triangle and then if you're subtracting, we typically keep change change. You keep the first, change the sign to addition, change the second one to its opposite. Okay? All right, so that's 7.3b. Um, try your best on this teak. And if you need help, come see me.